Have you ever had one of those workouts? You know those workouts, the ones that, well, they just don't go quite right. To the point where you question everything you're doing in training, to the point where your splits are so far off what they usually are that you wonder if something major is wrong. Well, fear not because today's video is going to be covering that topic. Today we're diving into the world of those bad workouts and talking about how you guys can bounce back. What is up guys, Andy Forrest, Steam Runner here. Welcome back to another video. And today we're talking all about bouncing back from having one of those workouts. So I can guarantee you these bad workouts happen to me at least once, if not twice, every single training block. And it could be for a multitude of reasons, tiredness and fatigue, nutrition, whatever it might be, they just happen. And when I say bad workouts, I'm talking really bad. Like your rep paces are here, we're not feeling a bit just sluggish, a bit slow. We're talking about our rep paces are so far over there that we can't even see the goal paces and we question everything we're doing. And so bouncing back from these types of workouts is absolutely key and that's what I want to share with you guys today. First of all, I'm going to show you the workout, the bounce back workout that I had this weekend just gone to show you how I managed, how I got on. And after that, I'm going to share some tips that I've been using over the last week to try and motivate myself to get myself back into that sort of shape where I was ready to take on the challenge. Three weeks ago, I nailed a long run tempo workout. Two weeks ago, it absolutely went to pot. I was 20 to 30 seconds off per rep and it really was that bad. Illness, tiredness, the whole shebang combined just meant it was an absolute disaster. The week before last I had a race, so this week was the return of the long run tempo. So welcome to the weekend tempo long run thingy. Whatever we're doing today, it's gonna be a good one, hopefully. Two weeks ago, we nailed this workout or this run. Last week, it was a disaster. So this week, let's see what we got. 30 minutes steady, three by 10 minutes tempo with 60 seconds light jog. 30 minutes steady and then finishing off with four by uh, 20 second strides. Excited to get out there, hit the trails and do this one out there. Right, so just about 10 minutes away from starting the first rep. In terms of how I'm feeling, a little bit flat today, uh, so not expecting anything fantastic. Hopefully it's not a disaster like it was last week, but it's certainly not gonna be as good as uh, the first week I did it. What have I come equipped with today? Adios Pro 3s, and I've got a soft flask in my belt. So if you can see the end here sticking out. I'm uh, really working on that hydration. So I've got some, some Victor Sports drink mix, which I'm using today. Going to try to see how that goes. Other than that, I'm just going to roll into this and see what we can do. Get in there, 5.52 per mile. That is not what I was expecting. I'm very happy with that. Energy levels through the roof. Um, legs don't want to play ball, but to get that out of me when legs don't play ball, I'm very happy. So what the next two bring. By 48, so that's second one. The second is easier, more down than up. One and three are the hardest ones, so flag in now. <laughs> See what we can do on the last one. Five fifty. Five fifty for that last one. Happy days. That went better than I thought it would. It's 
So there ended up being so many positives that I took away from that run. It was actually really, really good. I spent some time going through my summer workouts where I was doing three by 10 minutes as a standalone workout and just dropping it in and seeing where it compared to those types of workouts, where my paces were. And it really did kind of fit slap bang in the middle. When I was at my peak shape, I was kind of clocking those low 540s, dropping into the odd 530 here and there. But on the whole, it was mainly between 540 and 546 to seven. So to clock these paces was great on my slower days I was very much near the six minute mile mark into the 555s and up so this really did sit perfectly that combined with the fact that the trails that I was doing it on were a heck of a lot muddier a lot slippier lots of leaves on the ground I just felt like it all clicked really and despite having that fatigue I seemed to manage to manage to dig it out and manage to nail those rep paces and feel really really accomplished at the end of it then moving into the steady pace afterwards felt pretty good got the legs going again despite the fatigue and I can obviously rationalize that with the fact that I'm stepping up the mileage now with the intensity. So things are building, fatigue is there, and I just have to remember all of this. So to get those paces, I was really, really happy, and I felt like I had got the redemption I was looking for. So with all that being said and done, I kind of want to share three things with you, three sort of simple tips, mindset tricks, whatever you want to call it that I've kind of adapted over the years and kind of worked through, because I've been in this situation before. I've tried to justify myself too much. I've tried it, things manifest when you think about these workouts too much and it just evolves into something that it doesn't need to and I think having the experience where these workouts happen uh, sometimes inexplicably sometimes you have good reasons they just happen and so the first thing I want to share is just accept it just it's acceptance that at the end of the day I have in the past done these workouts and then gone back through my Strava training long spent an hour or two going well that workout went well that one went well so what the hell happened today and you haven't sometimes got that rational or you haven't got that reason for why it went wrong it just happens sometimes now I had that reason that that week I was quite poorly I was feeling quite sick but on the other hand I had already done a workout that week and it went quite well so I was thinking to myself well I'm, I know I'm ill so I know I might not be on top form but at the same time I didn't expect everything to be that bad but at the same time I just said to myself all right do you know what there's no point in overthinking it it happened and what you've got to do now is just kind of accept where it is you kind of get your frustrations out like I did on Strava I just I just put the comment out there that I did and just left it there and thought do you know what tomorrow's a new day all you've got to focus on now is kind of getting healthier getting better and if it was another situation just kind of moving on if it wasn't and sickness it was tiredness go right tonight my goal is to do my best to get more sleep or just to rest a little bit more that day whatever the reason for that bad workout is you just kind of have to try and fix it for the following day for the following day because as I said earlier training is a continual process we're keeping that ball rolling and we're just working towards that next run and that leads me nicely into the second sort of tip that I use which is just to focus on the next run now what I tend to do if it happens in a workout is I tend to focus on the next workout it doesn't have to be a long run workout all I focused on at that point was what the next workout was what the next race was whatever the next kind of big run is I don't tend to sort of focus on the next easy run it's just kind of what can I execute well what can I do well at next I know I'm going to go and get an easy run done next but when's my next workout what is it let's have a look at it and let's just kind of focus on that and let's try and achieve what we want to achieve now at that point I think I had a couple of days between my next workout I thought right you've got a couple of days to get better you've got a couple of days to feel a little bit better before we go out there and try and feel really good and actually what happened was I went out and absolutely nailed that workout to the point where it was probably the best workout of the block so I went from absolute low to absolute high in the space of three days and that was just coming from accepting the fact that the workout went wrong didn't overthink it didn't dwell on it didn't really make a massive deal out of it to then going right you just got to get a bit more sleep you just got to keep up with your vitamins vitamin c drinks whatever you're doing to try and get healthy and then see how it goes on the next workout get out there have a bit of a confidence booster put on some fun shoes i think i wore some super shoes get out there test the vape oh, i was using my vaporfly version ones get those out have a little bit of fun inject a little bit of spark into the run which for me was getting out those old shoes and just see how you get on and that ended up being a really good thing and that nicely leads into to confidence which is the last thing that I want to talk about now the confidence for me and this is how I work builds from executing great workouts so I managed to accept what happened I managed to refocus to the weekend workout I nailed that workout really really well and I thought right 
until that next uh, long run workout, all you're gonna do is just focus on each workout that's coming up and you're just gonna go out there and do your best. Build confidence so that you then go into that final long run workout uh, ready to re-give it a good go. Now for me at that point, confidence then was feeling good going into this weekend despite the fatigue uh, and you could see I was a little bit flagging towards the end of that workout but the, the confidence was there. And I also, with that confidence, put on again, just like I did in the previous weekend, some shoes that I thought will help me a little bit, will build some confidence. So I decided to wear the Adios Pro 3s. I don't often wear carbon-plated shoes too much during training. At the moment, it seems to be once a week, sometimes twice, but I'm trying to just limit it to once. My VO2 max sessions I'm doing in my streak flies, which are definitely not carbon-plated, and I certainly do all the work in those. Then my Wednesday session is kind of hit and miss whether it's in a plated shoe or not, and my long run one, again, is the same. I kind of choose a plated shoe for one or not the other. So I thought to myself that week, let's just do two. Let's use it twice. Let's build the confidence again. Go out there, give myself every advantage that I can to go and execute a really good long run workout, which now has left in my head now that I've managed to achieve it, a point where I don't feel like I need to go and put on some fancy shoes for the next one. I just need to go out there and have some fun with it because I've kind of got back on track. And what that's meant overall is that I've just had this one tiny blip in a five week plan so far, rather than letting it manifest and spread into the following week. So if you've made it this far in the video, I really, really appreciate it because I know this sort of topic is not something that a lot of people talk about too much. And for me, as a runner, I've been through this so many times. I just, it used to get me down so much, but now I've learned my lesson and I just wanted to share that with you because I'm sure you guys that are watching, if you have made it this far, it resonates with you. You know what I mean when you say you have these workouts and sometimes you just can't do anything about it. I'd love to hear what your tips are for bouncing back from one of these workouts. Please do leave it in the comments below. Is it a mindset thing for you? Do you try and build confidence? What's your go-to tip for anyone out there watching to bounce back from one of those workouts. I'd love to hear from you guys down in the comments below and thanks again for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed it today guys, please do give this video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Until then.